Yo, what's going on, Marvel fans? Today, we're diving into some pretty polarizing news from the MCU. It seems that Robert Downey Jr. just can't stay away from Marvel Studios. Now, after hanging up Tony Stark's helmet, he's now stepping into the role of Doctor Doom. But before you start cheering or booing, let's take a closer look at what this casting could mean for the future of the MCU. So let's just go ahead and get into it, right? Rapper Downey Jr. as Dr. Doom. It's a choice. Robert Downey Jr. was the face of the MCU for over a decade, embodying everything we loved about Tony Stark. But now he's set to play the guy who might just be the biggest villain in the Marvel Universe. But here's the thing. Does this casting really make sense? Or are we just seeing Marvel recycle a familiar face instead of taking a risk on fresh talent? And let's not forget the timing of all this. It seems like Bob Iger and Kevin Feige were working on this deal well before Jonathan Majors' legal trouble, according to an article with The Hollywood Reporter. In RDJ's interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he admits that he started conversations with Kevin Feige and Bob Iger somewhere like a year ago. Again, this is well before the verdict in the Jonathan Majors case, and it seems like that they were planning this entire time. Rumors about Robert Downey Jr.'s returns started swirling from the moment he left, but what's interesting is that it seems like this all started while Jonathan Majors was still supposed to be the MCU's next big bad as King the Conqueror. But as Majors legal troubles began to surface, it seems Marvel was already looking to pivot. The timing here is a little sus, almost like they were hedging their bets before Majors was even out the door. So, was this casting a backup plan or just a convenient coincidence? I'll let you decide. Now, I know some of you were really looking forward to seeing Jonathan Majors continue as Kang, and honestly, he brought something fresh to the MCU a different kind of energy that we hadn't seen before. With everything up in the air now, it's hard not to wonder if Marvel should have waited to see how things played out with Majors before jumping on the RDJ bandwagon. So, what does RDJ bring to the role of Doctor Doom? Sure, he's got the acting chops. He definitely has the acting chops. And yeah, Doom is another tech genius, but this character is way darker, more complex, and frankly, less charismatic than Tony Stark. Does Downey have what it takes to make us believe in a villain this ruthless? Or is this just Marvel banking on a familiar face to smooth over a rough transition? Only time will tell. Personally, I'm not sold on this casting yet. RDJ as Tony Stark worked because he was born to play that role. But Doom? That's a whole different beast. Maybe Marvel's trying to play it safe or maybe they've got some master plan that we just can't see yet. But right now, it feels like a move that's about name recognition than about what's best for the character. Look, I'm not saying that the casting is a disaster, but I'm not exactly throwing a parade for it either. If Marvel really wanted to shake things up, maybe they should have looked beyond the usual suspects. Who's to say that someone else couldn't bring something even more interesting to the role of Doom? And as for Jonathan Majors, here's hoping that situation kind of finds some resolution, because... Kang had the potential to be something really special. So what do you all think? Is Robert Downey Jr. the right pick for Doctor Doom or is this just a safe bet for Marvel? And what about Jonathan Majors? Do you hope he gets to finish what he started with Kang? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications and updates so this way you stay up on all the MCU's twists and turns. Until next time, stay skeptical and keep those expectations in check.